intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Guess what? It's nickel time. I got a box of nickels. Let's see what's inside. Oh no. Yep, all 2022 it looks like. Yeah, after that great nickel hunt I had last time, I knew I was gonna get hit with a box of brand new nickels. Uh, it's been about a month, I've got another box here. And... All right, nickels. Do we? Punch you, it looks like that's a no. All right, box number three in nickels. Let's find out if these are circulated or new. Oh no, another box of 2022s it looks like. So it's easier to pop open. Well, I thought it was going to be easier. There we go. Oh no. I got 2022s. Alright, I've got two more boxes to check. Let's see. Alright, let's check this box. And see if it is circulated. Box number five. Our brand new 2022s. All right, box number six, my last hope for a nickel hunt. Let's see what we got in here. And well, it looks like we got a half and half box. A half and half box. So I've got some I can hunt. And what I'll do is I'll grab some uh, customer at rolls from one of the banks close by and I'll add them to this. All right, well, let me get this box out of the way, get these nickels pulled up and give you a count and we'll see where we're at. All right, it looks like I have 15 rolls of bank wrapped and then I was able to get 10 rolls of customer wrapped here. Um, some of these enders do have an older look to them, so that is interesting. Might have some good ones, especially this one here. This one does look nice. Um, but yeah, let me pull these aside. Do this one first. Um, let me push these to the side and we'll get going. All right, three rolls in. I've got a pretty nice looking nickel here with a mint mark on the reverse. Um, before we flip that over, the ender on the first one was a 1964 out of Denver. Um, but yeah, so this one, this one has a mint mark. It's got some nice luster to it out of Denver. It's really nice. Almost looks proof-like. Uh, let's flip it over and take a look. See what year it is. It's a 1961. It is really nice other than the um, circulation things. It is really reflective too. All right. Well, that's a interesting little I'm going to set this aside for now and see if I can figure out anything going on about it. Okay, so I've made it to roll number eight and I've come across another rear face of mint mark. It's Denver. I um, haven't got anything older than the 61, but let's see if this is pre-60s or not. It does have some, looks like some dirt or some grime on it. Well, let's flip it over and see what we got. Hey, it's a 1954. That's awesome. All right, well, that's our first pre-60s find of these uh, rolls I've got going through. Um, hopefully, we'll find another soon. All right, roll number 10. Got another 1954 here. Let's see, does it have a mint mark? Does not. So this is 1954 out of Philly. 
the second find. Um, got five bankrupt rolls left. Okay, I'm on the ninth roll of the customer wrap, so I've got one roll left after this. It's been like nothing, but I figured I'd record and see. We got an old one here. Well, well, it looks like it's old one. Um, I figured I'd just record and see if it was a uh, pre sixties or not. Not expecting it to be, but fingers crossed. Let's see well, what we got. Oh, it's a 1940. That's awesome. It looks like you got some scrapes here, some scratches. Someone scratched on it. Oh, that's a 1940. That is nice. That is nice. Um, yeah, so I've got one customer wrap roll left. It's been a very slow hunt. I might try and go back to a bank and get a couple more rolls to add to this hunt. And we'll see. Nickels have not been my friend for a few months. <laughs> All right, so just got back from the bank. I've got 15 more rolls to go through. Customer app, so fingers crossed we get a few more fines. Um, but whatever ends up out of these rolls, I'm going to check what I have against the albums and wrap up the video after this. Um, hopefully these rolls will be better than the past rolls, but we shall see. All right, roll number four of the new rolls here, and we got a find. Um, so far, it's been slow, nothing before 70s until I come across this one. This one is a 1955. 1955, and this is a Denver. It looks like a D. 1955 out of Denver. If that was Philadelphia, it would have been a key, uh, semi key date. But, nope. I'm not going to complain about uh, another find. I just poured out roll number eight. And we got a bonus. We got a bonus penny. I don't know if it's a bonus or not. But I got a shield sent. 19, or 2018 sitting in here. And this one. Um, Alright, we'll take that. It's sitting right next to a 1966. Okay, I'm getting a lot of newer stuff still. Um, I guess my luck hasn't turned around yet. All right, roll number 10. And we've got a 1959. That is a 1959, and it is out of Denver. All right. That makes five finds. All right, I'm on roll 13. And I just tumped it out. And right here, it looks like I have a 1955 sticking out. It's a bit dirty and grimy. But let's take a look and see. Yep, that is a 1955. 1955. This one's also out of Denver. Nice. Put it up here on the other one. And there was another one that had an interesting look to it while I got you here. Let's, I think it was right here. Let's see, is this the old one? This one is a 1957. Awesome. Out of Denver. Nice. Nice. There might be a couple more in here, but that's, this one had just the older worn look to it. Um, but yeah, I'll go through the rest of these and see if there's any more, but... We are adding to the fines and the last few rolls. Hopefully that keeps up. All right. So wrapping up here, we got one from the 40s, one, two, three, four, five, six from the 50s. Um, so seven fines altogether. Had this really nice looking 1961 that is very proof like. It's from Denver, but let's see if I can focus. It is very reflective like it is a proof um but it is from denver so i don't know maybe this was a uh proof planchet that just got into the regular striking chambers i don't know um but i've got to decide as an rnt and i got one shield sent one 2009 um yeah so after my last hunt and i'll put a link to that up here which was awesome um my finds have been, my nickel boxes and nickel have not been, <laughs> I think I got all my finds in that last time for the next few, for the following few months. Um, 
I've got, uh, what, five boxes of uncirculated, five plus boxes of uncirculated nickels here I got to do something with. Um, so, well, let me uh, check at the, uh, the nickels against the albums and I'll show you what, uh, what we got for fills and stuff. All right, book number one, got a 1954 out of Philly that's going to fill a spot. This 1955 out of Denver is in uh, a lot better shape than the one that's in here, so I'm going to switch that out. That's all for book number one. For book number two, got a 1962 out of Denver. That is much nicer that I will switch out. A 1975 out of Denver. That again is nicer. I'm going to upgrade. And I got a 1987 out of Philly. That I'll upgrade this one that has scratches on it. Uh, that one might be, I might have stuck a Denver in there. Uh, I'll take it to double check. Either way, I'm upgrading it, so I'll have a Philly in the spot. And in book number three, I came across a nice 2019 that's going to fill a spot. Decent 2020 out of Philly that's going to fill a spot. And then a really nice 2022 out of Denver that'll fill that spot. That is it for the fills and upgrades. Okay, so totals for these, there's four spots filled and four nickels upgraded. Um, this was definitely a journey to get to this point. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of brand new nickels I get to do something with and I'll probably go through some of them, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with them all. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this has been my I just, I've been wanting to put out a nickel hunt for a while, but you see my dilemma and problem I've been having. <laughs> All right. So, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, hit that thumbs up. It helps me out. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And um, uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.